So I just recently made a video over 10 good locations that I found around in Pal World. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all real quick how to move your base and also how to get multiple bases. So I guess I'll start with how to get multiple bases for those of you that may be curious about that. All you have to do is go to your missions on your Pal box here. And as you can see down below where it states base level reward, it says here max pals working at base, six out of seven, and buildable bases, one out of one. What this means is you'll eventually get another buildable base. When you can officially make two bases, you'll have to be base level 10. Currently I'm base level six. But yeah, once you reach level 10, you unlock your second buildable base where you can where you'll be able to make it anywhere around on the map without having to get rid of your first base. Now, for those of you that just don't like where you first started out at, maybe you built on a slope or something, and you're just not enjoying building at that area. If you want to move your location, all you gotta do, one way to do it, is just pull up the build menu right, and then as you can see down below from the wheel, it states disassembly mode. I have to click in the stick for this to appear. And then you just go up to your pal box and disassemble. I'll go ahead and do that just to show an example. So now I got rid of my base, but it kept some of my other stuff. For example, it kept my wooden chest here, which still have my loot in it. And also it kept my feed box and my berry plantations. You will have to disassemble everything if you want to pack up everything and go. Like I'll show you an example here. I'll go ahead and just disassemble this wooden chest. It has all my stuff in it now. Uh, so I got the materials back from the wooden chest and all my stuff that was in that chest just came out of it. So yeah, that's what you're going to need to do if you are packing up and leaving. Unless you just want to leave the stuff behind. That's totally up to you. But you are going to have to disassemble a lot of things manually if you want your stuff back. Now I'm going to go ahead and just keep this spot that I have. So I'm going to put back my pal box. All right. Oh wait, it says that insufficient materials. That's because my materials are in the wooden box. I'll put them back in here. Technically it doesn't combine with my inventory until I place my base, which to place your base, you have to place your pal box. Whoops. Need to get a paldidium fragment too. All right. Now another way to disassemble your base, which this is an easier way to do it where you don't have to pull up your build menu at all. Go ahead and show you real quick. Let me go ahead and build this first. Okay, so got it back. Now another way to do it is just pull up your map and then hover over your base, right? And it'll state you can disassemble your PAL box by pressing RB. Or if you're on PC, it's gonna state something different. So yeah, you just press RB and this will disassemble your PAL box. But it will keep a lot of your other stuff at your base so you are going to have to disassemble all these manually by pulling up the menu build menu and then going to disassembly mode so keep that in mind that's how you disassemble everything this is also good to know because maybe you just place something down in your base and you regret how you placed it or something or it just didn't come out right this is a way to disassemble it so you can get all your stuff back but yeah, I guess that's where we're wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable and it was able to help you out in some kind of way. If it did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. And as always, that's totally up to you. Just a reminder here at the end. I'm out of here though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.